Hey brothers, how's it going? In this video I am talking to you about releasing trapped emotions in the body and I'm going to be giving you six techniques that you can use to release stored negative emotional energy so you can be free, at peace and happy and open in your life. Let's do it. So stored negative emotional energy occurs because things happen in our life that we don't allow ourselves to fully feel in the moment. Stored negative emotional energy happens because of resistance. Resistance is the reason why we don't fully feel our emotions, let them flow through us and out of us again. When we resist something, we tighten up. If we judge anger as negative or sadness as negative or jealousy as negative, when we feel those things, we, we have to tighten up and fight those emotions. And where do you think that energy goes? It doesn't just dissipate. It doesn't say, thank you very much, bye-bye, leave you, go somewhere else. It stores in the body, right? You store it, you stuff it down and you carry it with you like a heavy backpack that gets heavier and heavier and heavier over time until eventually you can't carry it anymore and it buckles you and we all know what that feels like hello panic attacks but assuming this is you assuming that you have this feeling like you have these emotions that you've been carrying around with you for so long it now feels like a big weight that's just the weight of the world just bearing down on your shoulders in this video we're going to solve that problem with these six techniques number one yoga now i've always been a, a power lifter and an MMA fighter. I've been, always been interested in fighting and rah-rah kind of training. I was always like, no, nah, I'm not really interested in yoga. But recently I've started taking up yoga from a channel called Manflow Yoga. I'll pop his link in the description, highly recommend this guy. Incorporating yoga into your morning routine can help you reconnect with your body and help you to develop a more positive and loving relationship with it. Say for instance, you're, you know, you're in a dating scenario, you experience some, uh, some anger or some jealousy or whatever, if you judge those negative, those sensations in the, in the body as negative, you're gonna repress them and you're gonna tighten up and you're gonna just feed more of this, this sort of repression, trapped emotion uh, feedback loop. Whereas if you develop a healthy, positive relationship to your own bodily sensations through yoga, when these negative emotions come up, you're not gonna judge them as harshly. You're gonna allow them to be there for a while and then they're gonna leave as emotions should. Yoga is extremely healthy for helping you do that. The second tip, cold showers. So cold showers are extremely useful for engaging a nerve called the vagus nerve. Now the vagus nerve runs from just about up here through the body and it affects pr pretty much every major organ. So the vagus nerve, when you can stimulate it intentionally, the vagus nerve engages the parasympathetic nervous system and that is the branch of the nervous system which calms you down and gives you those feelings of, of relaxation and presence and focus. A lot of the guys I coach haven't felt safe and confident and comfortable in their body for years, literally. And even then it was an accident. So when you engage the parasympathetic nervous system and the vagus nerve through cold showers, which have been scientifically proven to do just that, you give yourself a chance to feel easy and relaxed throughout the day. Do cold showers in the morning for 30 days, I guarantee you it's gonna make a difference. Technique number three, chanting or singing. Another thing that engages the vagus nerve is chanting or singing because the vibrations engage the vagus nerve and the parasympathetic nervous system just like cold showers do. So as part of your meditation routine, highly recommend that you add a little bit of chanting to the end of it. For example, I'll meditate for 20 minutes, do a bit of breath work, and then I will do a chant where I will do a deep breath in and I will repeat VU, V-O-O. -O. I'll repeat. Breathe in and voo. I'll keep repeatedly doing that and I can totally tell uh, when, I, when I do because I feel this sense of grounded, powerful peace within. Give it a go, find some other chants online if you want, but voo tends to work really well for me. Or if you're a Skyrim fan, fuzz roda kind of works as well. Technique number four, massage. Every fortnight, every two weeks, get yourself a massage. Because if you've been storing energy, negative emotional energy, in the body for so long, you're gonna have tightness in your traps, you're gonna have tightness in your hips, you're gonna have tightness in all sorts of different places. And what a massage essentially does is it releases these things physically. And oftentimes physical release of certain, ten certain po points of tension in the body can lead to emotional release as well. So I highly recommend ticking that box and getting yourself a massage. Happy ending is optional. Technique number five, 
dancing. Now hear me out here. Dancing helps you open up. Now when you are storing all this negative emotional energy, you're tightening up. In order to heal and bring the body back to a state of equilibrium, we need to just we need to do the opposite. Because right now you're too tight. Right now you're tensing up way too much. Physically, emotionally tight, protecting yourself against all sorts of threats in the environment. You're basically a prey animal, right? What we need to do is to communicate to your subconscious that your movement in the world will not result in death. And not only that, we need to communicate to your subconscious that you deserve to be here. You deserve to take up space, right? You don't need to be this tight little prey animal that's gonna be swallowed whole as soon as he opens his body. No, that's not true. You need to open up, okay? Move your body in new and interesting ways that you haven't before. Does this idea frighten you? It frightens a shitload of my clients until I recommend that they go to like a salsa class or something. And then over time, through the new expressions, the new physical expressions in the, in the person's existence, in the person's life, they find that a lot of their limiting beliefs, a lot of this stored energy just releases on its own. And plus, they learn to dance, which gets the ladies, let me tell you. And technique number six is a type of meditation called somatic meditation. Now this comes from a guy called Reginald Ray in his book, The Awakening Body. Now, what he talks about is how he uses the body as the main access point. Hey guys, he uses the body as the main access point to the present moment. And if you buy this book and give it a read, he has six meditations that, he, that come with the book essentially that you can use to gain a sort of deeper connection to the body and the sensations that lie within it. And there is apparently, according to Reginald Ray, deep spiritual significance in doing this. Each meditation is around 30 to 60 minutes long and the link is in the description below. Bonus tip, Wim Hof breathing. So it wouldn't be a trapped emotion in the body video from me without me mentioning breath work at least once now, would it? So in, in past videos I've mentioned these long 60 minute holotropic breath work sessions where you have big emotional releases and stuff like that, but it can be a bit impractical. So what I recommend you do, as part of your heroic morning ritual, which I'm gonna make a video on soon, I highly recommend that you incorporate a little bit of Wim Hof breathing. He has an app, I highly recommend you download that, I'm gonna stick it in the description below. Um, and Wim Hof kind of breathing is like a kind of circular breathing where you hold the breath at certain intervals and stuff like that. It really is just something you should dive in and do um, and use that as part of your morning routine and I think that's gonna, that's gonna bring you some results as well. So all in all guys, I want you to remember this, remember this, okay? Negative emotions, if we don't allow ourselves to fully feel them, let them rise, let, them, let, let ourselves feel them, let them pass. If we, if we try and repress, try and change, try and over intellectualize, try and shove them away and stuff them down, then what we do is we close, we tighten, and we end up taking up less space in life. And across time, our whole experience of reality ends up being very fearful, and very negative and very, very exhausting. So we need to do the opposite. Open up, take up space, feel, and you will heal. Take care, <laughs> big love.